and today I will be showing you how to make your own file downloader in Visual Basic. First of all, what you're going to need is three labels, two text box for this one, this one, two buttons, which are this and this, and one progress bar. The labels will be URL, browse, and progress. For the text box, keep them bl blank. Then for the progress bar, just put it wherever. I recommend putting it at the bottom, like mine is. And then for this first button, just for the text or label, put three dots. That means browse. And then for this, the biggest button, which is going to be the download button, just name it download, obviously. And then what happens is that you put a link from the internet in this box, and then you click this button here, and it'll let you browse for wherever you want to put it, and you'll put it, you know, up here, here, and you just click download, and when this is all green, it says download complete, and it'll be finished, and you'll do whatever with it. So, first of all, you need to double click this. Double click the, the first spot, text box. Or text box one. <laughs> Mine freezes a lot because I only have one gig of RAM, so it comes back after a couple of seconds. All right, first of all. What you're gonna need to do is you're gonna wanna go. Alright, you don't need to click anything on the text box one. What you wanna click is. Here's the code in there. When you, you double click the form, which is the whole box thing, this whole thing, you just double click the thing up here. And you're gonna wanna put in all the way up top imports, imports, space, dot net. Anyway, imports space system dot net then below public class form one which is the name of your project most of the time you're gonna say private with event events space wait private space with events space http client space as space web client and for the button one which is the three dot button, which is right here. You're gonna want to put in dim after the part seven. Dim save at dim space save space as space new space save file dialog. Some people do it differently on YouTube, but I did mine this way, so it so it saves it to your computer. Some guy on YouTube did his a little different by I like sort of edit it, edit it, it. And the next one is gonna be space save dot title space equals space. In, in quotation, it's gonna be download file type. And the next line is gonna be save file dialog dot save file dialog in two parentheses. Below that, it's gonna be cmd save space equals space button 2 next one is going to be text box 2 dot text equals space save dot file name then the button 2 which is this one is on oh and by the way you're going to want to have a save file dialog at the control box 2 because if that way you can, cause I follow the guy's video on you. I follow the guy's tutorial on YouTube. He his looks sort of like this. My I set my up a little different, and his code was a little off. I just his code, code and made it better. Save five dollar will let you filter it and whatnot. And I put save five dollar instead of open five dollar or whatever you put. Anyways, you want to put a save five dollar. So you double click the download button or button 2, whatever you named it. And you'll put in below the private sub is HTTP client equals new web client. 
dim source URL equals text box one dot text. Dim file dir is directory equals text box two dot text. Progress bar one dot value equals zero. Progress bar one dot maximum equals one hundred. Try HTTP client dot download file async in parentheses you want to put new new URI another parentheses source URL comma another parentheses file dir and then the end of the parentheses and message box and then parentheses and quotations put file download successfully me dot close catch ex which is exception catch ex as exception message box failed in parentheses in the quotations plus ever to string parentheses parentheses comma message box style dot critical end parentheses me dot hide parentheses parentheses and try ends up and then this is this is the progress bar so you're gonna want to name it HTTP server but, but just double click the progress bar. Okay. And name it. Wait a second. Oh, wait. I think this is saved. I thought I thought. See, I made. Oh, whatever. Anyways, the, the next line is going to be HTTP client underscore download. That's the part sub part. And in the middle part sub HTTP client, you're going to want to put private aim. Progress bar one dot value equals e progress e dot progress percentage. And what you're going to do is for the saved file dialog because I mentioned that earlier. That I got this sort of got this from was um he put open file dialog to open a new window basically but i changed it and i made it better so it's you want to put a save file dialog and then filter um i'll show you in a second basically but make sure and if you follow that guy's tutorials make sure you put save file dialog if you want to save it as a certain type and that's basically it. i'll run the project to show you what it looks like and I'll show you what the filter does of that thing. Well, you know. What I mean. Of the um, filter part of the browse. There it comes. All right. So let's just look for a file from I don't know. I mean, um, let's see. Let's say, actually, um, anyways, you know, you get the point. Well, you get in a second once this is loaded. What you want to do is when it pops up under URL, you put the website link where you want to download, and you browse with this. Those are just their clicks, not downloading it. Okay. Alright, first of all, this is the browse, and I made mine filter just pretty better, if you ask me, because if you don't filter, it's going to have blank, and you're going to have to put the RER, and it won't work. I tried it before. So this is the compressed file, all the compress common compressed files, all common audio files, common video, whatever, executable, and these are, you can download torrent with mine, so that's pretty cool. And then you put the, you do that after you put the website in. And then you want to name it. What like if you got it from Rapid Share, then when you browse, you select the type of file which is RER or .zip. And then you're gonna want when it's, when you're browsing, you want to put in the um what's it called like the type of file they named it on Rapid Share. So they name it like um download dot download underscore um file 
.rer, then you want to copy that from like their website, just copy the name of it, and just put it in there, and you click download, and it'll go. And the good thing about this my software is that this gets around Rapid Share's time limit, which is cool. So if you want to download something in like Rapid Share, you know you can only download two two things, and they ask you to wait 15 or 17 minutes. And if you do it with this, and you put their URL in, it will download it, and it won't tell you that how you can download as much stuff as as what time whatever you know what I mean. basically that's it bye.